Hello everybody, I'm Peter Grob. And today, since we're getting, hopefully, pretty close to LEGO Next 9 Season 5, I've decided to, do, to make a video talking about the monster armies in previous four seasons. Namely, the Lava Monsters and the Stone Monsters. And to see and maybe gain the idea on how powerful the attack monsters are going to be in the cartoon. And with that, I decided to start with Lava Monsters because they were the first. Also, I'm not gonna be going to the extra, those monsters that are in the extra material because I wanna go for the cartoons. And also, I have, I do not own any of these images. All these images belong to Lego Nexo Knights cartoon, which is, I believe, owned by Cartoon Network and Lego, but it's possible some other, the, the channels own them as well. So that's it. Let's begin this discussion. Let's begin with the just monster soldiers. I don't just said monsters, but let's just monsters in general. Throughout the the cartoon, dude, they really only seem to be these goblins and those round balls, who, who seem to be the only real fire-based monsters present. Like, sure, you had those spider spiders, and I believe in the end we also have those knights and guards. But throughout the show, they've mainly been using these goblins and orbs and whatever. Yeah, it was really they didn't really seem to be that powerful. They only really seemed to be like tackling you down and attacking something so far and as many of them judge and something to break down like now we have physical strength these goblins and orbs and really I believe orbs were used most of the time as uh, as something to throw at the knights so yeah not really impressive the spiders I believe only serve to be like the things that the illusions for the knights outside of that the spiders I don't believe even show up that much and the other guards and other ones don't really seem to appear that much. Like seriously, I can only remember them in the final no, episodes. So it's in season 2. Possibly the final one only. I don't believe they even show up. Do they even show up in the monster, in the lava monster village? I don't believe they do. So yeah, the, the squadron of monsters, these don't really seem to be that strong because... Well, they have really nothing, so, yeah. They just look the same, or at least a minor difference, then they're, outside of that, they just get easily, like, one shot at by anyone. How I even believe that Clay were both even being aware of that he was able to hold on. It was really that, that when the, that spark, uh, when the giant monster show was really when the challenge came from. So, they were literally father. More than fire soldiers even are. The next monsters we're gonna be discussing are the giant lava monsters. And the giant lava monsters seem to namely be the I'm sorry I forgot those two names, the Cyclops and the Gunhead and those weird flame magma flame stone monsters over the in the top which I honestly can't remember them that much they mainly this much mainly seem to serve the purpose of being being the carriers for the commanders and the general for the commanders and to drive justice evil mobile and they were definitely the powerhouse strength wises of the T of the monster squads. Like they are definitely more powerful and if that were, and then and if the knights had no Nexo powers, they would probably physically beat them up like easily. Like 
Four and one. Now next up, they would win. I mean, they are strong. I don't. I don't believe they actually do have authority over the smaller ones. But still, they are definitely more than powerful enough f to beat the next knights. Yeah, you could actually argue that they are more powerful than the commanders. People who are actually in charge of them. And now to the commanders. I don't believe they are ever stated to be commanders, but I'm gonna be calling, considering them commanders. Namely because they seem to be more in charge than some of the others and it would make sense to be more ranks between it. So the commanders seem to be Laveria, Beastmaster, Whipperella, Met Metal I believe is the black one and Flame, Flame is the Flame Ghost. Metal and Flame didn't really seem to do much. Hell, I believe that those two were just like in one episode, episode just thrown in. And then just kept reappearing. Like seriously, Beastmaster, Lavera, and Fl and Riparella actually had an episode when they were the main f one to defeat, but these two just appeared one episode, I believe. But even so, they would that they are definitely even so. That's just me. The other three are definitely more in charge. Like for starters, Beastmaster's first role. And I believe he was actually the first commander to be introduced now that I think about it. His first role was basically to control the monsters who are out of control. Because one reason or the other. Although that's a bit confusing that you would have a mon create a monster specifically to control some of the other monsters. It was, I guess, understandable. Like... How are you going to be commanding everyone else if you can, you know, not exactly the most functioning? Like seriously, I believe one of these little goblins once had to go to gesture and to, um, dude, there is something you should see. Come on, sir. So yeah, I think it's a bit understandable. Although in the end, I believe he was just a joke. Joke. Like, this is my favorite of these commanders, but the final ones just had him to be a joke. Nothing else. Like in the beginning, power, powerful and quite a fat, but at the end, he in the second season, I believe he was just a joke. Lavivia was definitely a bit better done because her first ever had to this this kind of a uh, spies type, and the shorts with her were good. Like the whole Macy fit short, and then the short where. I think it was like the first time in the show that I believe was the only time they actually said there was a prison in Nighton. Which is wait, does wait, does that mean that wait, Lavera was going to be going to prison and not just use their next pass to knock her uh that's confusing, but it was a shot. And so Lavera very and Lavera was more memorable and Honest to God, well, Beastmaster, Flame, and Mattel, and as well, Ripperella seem to be a bit, a bit smarter than the Giants. Not that smart. And now to Ripperella. The whole, she's, honestly, for those characters who are supposed to be, their whole theme to be terrifying, they really underuse that terrifying thing. Like, I see the thing, but maybe it will work better if in the her episode she wasn't cry when somebody said to her whip. Like a wimp. But, uh That's just me. Outside of that, she just seemed to be there to f be a strong f fighter. But even so, I believe she was easily beaten by someone else and... I'm pretty sure that Leveria in a short used a similar weapon as Whipperella, so there wasn't much to say. Now to the general, which is General Magmar. He was introduced early in season two, and he was pretty w well done. Done, like 
he was uh, loyal, of course, but where it ki but some and he some was actually uh, admitting more publicly to Jastro that I mean there are other things you can have me do, which was great. Wait, I also l like how he he was definitely in charge, charge and definitely the sh strong one. Or do I would wish he would actually beat? The next one, of the next tonight, even with the next power in one episode to showcase that he is definitely more powerful than them. I kind of understand why they didn't have him beating to the crap out of one of them. But so he was very good, although his sound, I believe I like that much. In fact, go check. I believe his is like and the. Uh, Top half of my worst list of top 10 worst Lego Next Night sets, but mm, it doesn't matter that much. Or I mean, it's no, I think it's uh, the worst. So, yeah, Jeremy Mike was shown all that he was something, but in reality, season 3 was when he really showcased that he was great as a leader because, well, in the after they got defeated in season two, the lava mon the remnants of the lava monsters made their own village, or was it a town? I believe it was a village, in which he was the mayor of it. And when he Monstrux threatened that he will attack them with stone monsters, he went to the next Sunites for help, even though it wasn't that much of odds for them to help him. But still, they he had a good point. And he tried to have the lava monsters go more calm and nice, but they, the lava monsters, they need to fight. Which was great. And now to the leaders of the, the lava monsters, which are Jastro and Book of Monsters or Monstrux. Jastro clearly, even though Jastro was in charge, all of them just follow him because Monstrux had told them, follow him. And yeah, even so there, there was some times where Jastro was a great planner and made some great logic and logical things. But some other top, but still the monsters didn't exactly follow him as the best. Like again, a glob monster had to help get to him the location. About the something happening, but still, Jasso was shocking to be at least somewhat of a competent leader. And Book of Monsters, well, although whenever it came to him, like giving someone specific order, that one was like following no matter what. If Book of Monsters goes to Beastmaster and says, "You go, go break up out of the the army, go get the book." Come back and get ready to throw me that book. So yeah, he did had some. So he definitely was more in charge. Like the reason why, how I'm pretty sure that's the reason why most monsters follow Jastro whenever he did some kind of a stupid plan. But still, it was decent. Oh, the lava monsters were definitely a unique threat, and I thought like in times showcased to be stronger. Like how I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for Nexo Power, was the Lava Monsters could have wiped them out easily. But even so, the Lava Monsters serve their purpose, plus and I do wish they would show up in the next seasons, like maybe the final allies, if there's going to be a grand battle. Well, though, they were great. Now, I hope you like this video. I hope you're gonna leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And that's it, I cannot wait to see all people next time. Bye.